Hello, I am Martin Frenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord Difficulty. In the previous part, we started the siege of Renandal's capital, so uh, the plan for today is um, to end the war, get the capital, uh, capture these probably all four provinces, I'm not sure about the Troll province, it um, is just uh, plus one plus zero, so we are probably gonna ignore it, it would be just uh, more corruption and uh, there is really nothing interesting. Maybe later we're gonna grab it because it's a third ring in case we run out of targets. Uh, we don't have that many uh, provinces in the third ring, only one in the fourth. So maybe, maybe later we're gonna uh, take it, but I don't think so. Also, as I said, um, I played a little bit of camera. I just played like five turns because uh, the siege is really boring and long. Uh, now, I think we want to uh, uh, break the walls in like the next turn, but I'm not 100 sure about that. So I started the recording now, I'd say like one or two turns, and we can get the capital here. We still want to explore, find out what the resource is, and uh, all I did off camera was uh, really just hit end turn, and uh, I build a few pubs, so nothing interesting at all. With the rituals, we are still waiting for the chaos spawn. I checked our scout uh, if um, he has some uh, tier two slots open, but he doesn't. He has only tier one units available, so we can't uh, get the demon. Uh, that way, so we just have to wait. Okay, and I think we can end the turn. Yep, continue the siege. As I said, I wasn't sure if uh, we can break the walls in this turn, but it should be any turn now. Also, I've been thinking about what to do with gold. Like two parts ago, I was talking about hiring a third hero, and for I don't know why, for what reason I said that uh, we have to get four and a half thousand for the hero, and of course that's wrong because it's our third hero. Uh, with the discount we have, we need only thirteen hundred and fifty, so we are quite close to that. So our next goal is to get the hero, most likely a warrior, and start leveling him up. So we have one hero uh, to the west, one to the south, and uh, with that will be significantly better uh, or safer. In case there is an unexpected attack, uh, keep exploring. Uh, what about you? Um, hmm. We have almost 500 gems. Eh, let's invest some. Okay, next. I'm not gonna hire the, the third hero in this part. I'm gonna wait until we have like, I don't know, 2000 with our income, that really uh, isn't gonna take too long, maybe the first thing I'm gonna do in the next part. Uh, what's this, gems? Oh come on! Okay, I'm not paying 50 again. Uh, uh oh! What the hell? was nameless but uh, how the hell is it possible that we met maybe because oh he got some provinces here probably so we can see him across one neutral province but well he's um, not right next to us yet I don't even know if uh, it's him here, the blue border, or this is weird. I'd expect that um, we meet the AI when it gets uh, right next to us. But well, we know about uh, another guy. Didn't help too much, but we can uh, at least talk to him if we want to. Maybe some deals. But we have all the basic resources, so this is. Uh, doesn't change much. This doesn't change anything, to be honest. 
Okay, let's just keep going. Uh, this is not the screen I want. I want to check. We still need quite a few pops. Let's keep working on that. And it would be nice to finally break those stupid walls. Oh, it's three turns already. Well, it's even longer than what I expected. Okay, keep going. This is not bad that we uh, are exploring the tier 1 province for so long, uh, since um, we are hiring another hero. That means uh, we at least have some targets for him. But this sucks. And I'm thinking I'm gonna uh, pay the 500. That's gonna delay the third hero, but uh, it should prevent further losses from this brigand uh, assault. We've lost a lot of money to brigands on this shard. <coughs> Okay, another pump, and can we please finally finish the siege? There we go. Wow, quite a few units. Uh, but we should be fine, I'm thinking I'm gonna send uh, a unit forward with astral energy. That might be too much damage for just one guy. I'll just move everyone forward, get some curses up. They focus probably on one of them. One who takes most damage will run back, the rest uh, just moves forward. Oh, they're not focusing the damage. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm thinking about trying a metal here. But that would just take forever now. Come on, die already. There we go. Okay. No problems here as expected. And Ranadil was defeated. Sure. Um, now, we have to... Oh, it revealed his provinces. I didn't know that... Uh, that's what happened. Uh, Enchanted pool... Trolls, yeah, keep exploring. But um, now we can see all the provinces he used to own. Eighteen one, that's a nice province. Eighteen one with horses, another nice province. Too bad those provinces are so far away. I don't want to have a border that's uh, two, four, six. Here, seven provinces long. We'd get uh, the extra income, but uh, we'd have to pay all those extra guards. I think we are fine with these two provinces. This one is not worth it. So let's just hire mercenaries. And is there anything interesting? There actually is. But I'm not sure that we want to attack attack any of these locations yet. Like Trolls Lair is a nice target, but we are not strong enough for it that yet. Uh, so all we can do is just uh, get another demon. What is that? Oh come on! Really? A few shards ago, I 
was trying to get an Im I, I tried it, I don't know, like 15 times. I was always getting fiends. I, I really got like 15 fiends in a row. And now it's a second imp in like four rituals. Come on, game. Well, I'm gonna keep him, of course, but at some point I'm just gonna sacrifice him since we just want tier 2 demons. For tier 1, I have other plans. And. Okay. So these two provinces and then everything behind. Um, provincial buildings. Still need. How many? Quite a few, actually. No, oh, no. Only three pubs. So we are almost done. Go. <laughs> Can we get a medal from this? I doubt it. just send all the melee units forward and finish this as fast as possible. Come on. Astral energy. Get rid of the crossbow man. You can kill this guy, you can kill this one, kill the thief, and we can kill the slinger as well. Oh, that's a nice level up. Definitely gonna take his strength. And more guards. I really hope that mercenaries are enough. I should. It's turn 62, I've spent ages in that capital, but uh, I'd say to like level 100 mercenaries should be enough. Okay, anything interesting here? Uh, we can build another mill, and there are no locations. Okay, another province. And, uh, I have to pay more attention when I uh, click on another hero. To make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to do, I can move the scout. Uh, how does it look like with rituals? Do we need extravaganza or dark ritual? I think we can skip the dark ritual for now. We have almost 500 gems. And uh, plus 22 gems per day. Yeah, for now we should be fine with gems. Uh, what about the extravaganza? Could use it somewhere, I don't know, here. Next. Okay. Same thing again. Mm, I'll just finish one off. And... Keep feeding the the hellhound. He needs to catch up. What's this level? Yeah, only five. So he definitely needs some extra experience. Okay. 
Okay, almost there. There we go. Um, extra attack is always useful. What's this province? 5 1. No, that's not worth it. Uh, so, this is the last guard. And anything interesting here? Um, maybe we could actually clear these locations. Get extra gold. Especially from the uh, Thieves Guild. Since we had to pay 500 gold for those stupid bandits. Uh, this uh, would be a nice boost. And we also lost the uh, income because all because of all the guards that we hired. I still want on 100, but this can speed things up. I think this is worth it. I'm going to ignore trolls, but uh, the guild is worth it. Okay, another mill. And you, buddy, revealed at the resource finally. Yeah, we just want to finish this as fast as possible. Ow. I think I'm even gonna curse them. They're doing a bit too much damage. Um, and of course, we want to finish off the assassin. Okay, let's run back. It's probably worth healing, and this was stupid, stupid mistake. Uh, heal up. Same here. Can we reach him like this? We can, but it's not gonna be enough, of course. I don't want to give any extra experience to that imp, so let's just do it this way. Uh, what do we have? Vampirism? I'm not sure if we have already uh, one or not, but since we're planning uh, a warrior, I'm gonna definitely keep it. It's a decent loot. And, yep, it's a deal. Okay. Um, let's try it this way. But again, even though it worked, you lost uh, 72 gold again. I'm quite curious how much might be lost on this shard because of uh, these uh, bad events. Be like maybe 2000 already. One of the local lords has been defeated and is no longer an obstacle in your quest to seize the shard. Uh, that was a local lord, I have a feeling. I defeated, yeah, sure enough, and I bet it's the one. To the south. Yep. I expect that. And here, this used to be the capital, I think. So, our blue guy, whoever that is, just uh, got himself quite a few provinces. And that means he's now free to get to us. And he'll quickly grab all these provinces. Hmm. This guy will be dangerous. He's growing pretty fast with all these free provinces he can now grab. That's a um, significant boost to his economy. These provinces are really good. I just hope he's gonna fight someone else for a while so we have time. Because I was thinking about our plan to just uh, leave uh, AIs alone, let them grow. I'm still gonna do it. Uh, but if they decide to declare war on me, 
uh, in that case I'm just gonna kill them I, I don't want to have a war on a uh, on one side uh, that uh, you know is like unattended and they can do whatever they want it can only cause trouble once we get to war we need to finish it as fast as possible it's, it's also hard to negotiate peace when you don't uh, uh, cause uh, like any damage to the AI when you just sit there uh, let him even if he just keeps killing his heroes on, on your guards he rarely agrees to, to peace so it's just their decision how long they want to be alive as long as they uh, leave us we're gonna ignore them at least until we run out of new targets okay uh, four turns for another demon. Um, let's just grab another province. All we can do for now. Keep exploring. And. Doo -doo -doo. Here we need another pop. And this one is even gonna improve the population mood. Also, I was thinking about uh, these provinces here. Uh, that is a weakness. So once we are done with all of this we're gonna move up and we are gonna grab these two provinces because we can't hire a guard in a desert province so uh, we would if we wanted to defend our border here we would have to hire guards in all these provinces like around the desert so it's definitely easier to just grab quickly these two provinces and have the border like this because uh, of course we need guards here and uh, to the north as well. Go. Okay, I'll just um Wait a little bit, let them come closer. Or maybe we can fight them where we are. almost done with all these boring fights but uh, well I already said this so we just have to do it we have to prepare properly if we want to stay here with multiple AIs alive uh, we have to make sure that uh, we are prepared for that okay, what's it gonna be here Healers don't need stamina. Let's take the resistance. Keep exploring. Anything interesting here? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, provinces. Let's get another pub. Two more to go. And three turns for another demon. Hmm. I think here I'm gonna wait for it done. Because this guard is now actually stronger when uh, uh, they are uh, not owned by the AI anymore. It actually means they count as neutral. And uh, as neutral, that means they are 
uh, overlord, overlord level as long as they were owned by the master they were only lord so their stats increased once the lord uh, when the lord died so i don't want to fight this many uh, this many brigands they still can do quite a lot of damage Yeah, see, the Hellhound is already down to 16 hit points. I'm even thinking that I may have to use the Barbarian and protect the Hellhound. Oh, come on, one hit point? Are you kidding? Hmm. It'll be fine. But he really is taking a lot of damage. One hit point again, come on. Kill this one. Okay, uh, level ups. That's gonna be attack. Uh, for you, buddy, it's definitely defense. You are taking way too much damage. I know that he's uh, he was standing in swamp all the time, but still. Uh, what's this monolith? Oh, that's nice. That's uh, extra gem income. Okay. I'm going to reconquer that. Anything interesting here? Not really, just the second ring. And I really want to get to the, uh, to the west as fast as possible. So let's grab the last province here. Um, two turns. Pumps. Here we need one. And let's end the turn. And again, I don't want to fight thieves. Uh, too far away from my healers. So let's wait for them. And of course the reason is that this uh, takes a bit longer than usual since we can't kill them with counter attacks. Uh, move back a bit. And you as well I would say. It's already four poison stacks. Um, let's get you some heals. I'm gonna use even the stronger healer. And this is a job for our ranged units. Okay, guys, finish him off, and let's kill this one as well. Mm, anything interesting here? Oh, this is 
interesting. You have 17 stamina. I'd like to get that counter attack. But I think I'm still gonna prefer the double promotion. 17 is not that much. It's tempting. Though the more units we get, the uh, less often we're gonna counter attack. I think it's the stamina. Uh, for you, it's definitely more ammo. And just keep exploring. Oh, and here we have a resource as well. Okay. So, how are we gonna do this? And another troll, troll layer that uh, I mean some decent fights for later trolls troll layer that's like I don't know eight to twelve trolls it's gonna be fun but we need uh, at least tier three units for that to, you know to be sure that uh, we don't get into trouble um, still some provinces that need pumps and what's our first target now probably just uh, go into the desert then grab this province and these two will be last I hope that's um, not too hard we should be able to handle half lanes but if we run into something like, I don't know, trolls, uh, medusas, or even swamp creatures, that could be a problem. Okay, desert first. And for that, we're gonna use the fair wind. How far can we get? Uh, almost all the way. Good. Isn't it short to go this way? Oh, because we don't own this province, right? I didn't reconquer it. Uh, it's another province we lost. Oh, that's explain that explains it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We start with um, the province that we lost. Yeah, this is another annoying easy fight we just have to have to do. Uh, can we maybe do it this way? Use only the Hellhound. And maybe send some support. Yeah, he's still taking too much damage. And I think we have to get the third medal for him because uh, T3 unit should be able to one shot uh, like T1s with 14 hit points. Okay, level up for the hero. Ooh, this is a hard choice, uh, but I think we have to grab wisdom. It's gonna speed things up a lot. I'd like to have the the extra damage, but. Um, this is not not just extra experience, but also extra spell. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, what's this? 
trouble. And I think I'm going to pay because this can have consequences. And here I'm going to pay as well. Okay, so next turn we attack the desert and um, the last thing we're going to do in this fight, we're going to spawn the, uh, the demon and another hellhound. Where are all those fiends? I think hellhound, of course, it's better than an, another imp, but uh, in the final version of the army, I want to have fiends only. Or, I mean, for a tier 2, of course, I would have fiends only. For higher tier, it's gonna be demons and devils. Oh, are we done with pops? Hmm. Probably are. Or I'm blind. But I think we have pops everywhere. Okay, good. And we almost have enough money to hire a hero. Problem is we don't have any gear for uh, for a warrior this time. Let's check our options. No, we don't have anything. We got some gear for a scout, but it was just uh, you know, the bow and uh, arrows are not bad either. But that's like all we got. The rest is garbage. Maybe we just. Um, Hire the hero and for a while just gonna help it exploring until we get at least a better weapon or something. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Hire the hero, uh, conquer these provinces and reconquer everything we lost to those uh, uh, local lords or how these guys that are, that are stealing our provinces are called. And. Um, then we hopefully can finally focus on some more interesting fights. I'm really looking forward to some neutral locations. How does it look like here? 84%. It's going to be in the last percent, I bet. The resource, I mean. Uh, because um, it's about time that we send the scout the third rank to give us some nice targets for for our command there. Oh well, we'll see. Explore. You go to the desert. We hire the hero in the next part, and that means we are done for today. Again, it was just um, the necessary work that can't be avoided, uh, but. Uh, uh, even though it's not the most interesting fights ever, at least like this is um, uh, the planning that um, you have to do when you want to stay on the shard for a long time. You have to make sure that you are safe, that your borders are fortified enough. And um, I promise that we get to, the, to those tough fights soon. Maybe even in the next part, these two fights can be interesting and probably will be interesting. So, uh, anyway, I hope you liked this part, join me for the next one again, and until then, have a good time, bye bye!